What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Before today's video starts, we want to, of course, remind you of the meetup on September 8th, 2018, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, bring your stuff, come and hang out with us in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. All the information is in the description of this video, as well as the parts used in today's video. So make sure to check all those links out. Uh, check out this Trailmaster. The links for it is in the description as well. This is the baddest mini bike we've messed with so far, and we're about to make it street legal. So enjoy today's video, and we hope you can make it to the meetup. We'll see ya. So this, it's safe to say that this is uh, the time Becca interrupts our filming session. Ah, uh, she don't want to come out. How do I get Beth on her off my arm? I don't know. It's probably a dude in the mineral spirits. Dude, this this swipe from there to the door is like Trashy. ridiculous on how much crap you have in here. How dare you? This stuff's gold. Well, it's not crap. It's just crap. a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, back to the video, though. What were you going to say? It's safe to say that the Trailmaster is by far our favorite bike. Yes. For sure. And since we did the re-gearing and the Stage 1 performance kit, holy moly, it made this thing come alive. The gearing alone made this thing amazing. It still runs stock governor. We haven't zip tied the governor or anything. She runs... 35, all, yeah. maybe 40. I mean, it feels fast. I, I would think I hit 45 down that downhill yeah going to the track and and i don't think i've felt the governor actually kick in like you do no. on regular main bikes where you can feel it just stop the engine well i was telling tim it feels like this thing it's definitely governored but it's governored at like 4500 rpm or five like the thing will stretch its legs when you get it out so that got me thinking the way this bike looks it looks like a mini like street bobber style bike so we're going to turn this into a street and trail bike and we're going to make this bike street legal. I've already found out what we have to do to make this street legal in Tennessee. This will vary from state to state, but Tennessee is pretty relaxed. Uh, I mean, they allow me to wear shorts with legs like that. And that should be against the law. <laughs> that should, that's, that's on the borderline of being illegal. Uh, so today we're going to start the modifications to make this thing street legal. We don't have the engine that we're going with yet. The electric star engine. We're not talking about it yet, but we got all the other parts to start bolting on it. So let's start this build. So what is project numero uno? Um, we're gonna pull the headlight out because I have bought a replacement headlight that actually, we just take this housing apart, this glass, which I'm surprised that that's glass, being Chinese and whatnot, but a headlight will fall right in there that's halo projection. So it should be super bright. So we're gonna pull this off. It's just two 14 millimeter trail bolts. Then we're gonna pull this fender off because this is a CRF F. 250R front fender. And we're gonna cut it down just like we did on the uh, 301 bike and put this fender on it. I don't like that it's faded. I'll probably buy a new one. You can buy this fender brand new for $23. So I'm gonna buy a new one. We'll just cut it, get it sized up, and then we'll just copy it later. We'll go ahead and throw this one on in the meantime. Cause I don't think paint would hold to that very well. And we have straightened up the handlebars. A lot of people griped because our handlebars was more forward. It was actually really comfortable like that. We think long cheesy. Well, we haven't rode it like this yet, but it was comfortable the other way, so. Yeah, I think it'll be, you may feel like you have more control like this, maybe. And this just has a wiring harness right there. Bam. And that's off. So now it's just two Phillip head screws in the bottom that lets this housing come apart and then this headlight's held in with some clips so let's go pull it apart here's the new one it's just pretty much the same one but a higher quality one than we put on the uh, mini chopper we're higher quality now all right so that housing's off look at this it's perfect, perfect. so it's got these four clips that you got to pop out let me grab a pick and we'll snap them up these out so I remove those four clips with a pick. You just pop them out and they hold the headlight into the housing. This is the worst headlight bulb I have ever seen in my entire life. It's bad. Look at that, how, I mean, it's like it was made for this thing. It's crazy. And I didn't even mean for that to happen. So that was a nice bonus. This is going to be a son of a gun. But now will that plug into the old harness? No, I'll have to rewire everything because this is 
I'm going to have to rewire this with a relay because this is a lot higher output headlight than the stock one was. So these clips, oh they suck. Oh boy do they suck. This is going to be the part that takes us six to seven years. So we'll get these clips put in and then we'll look, at, we'll look back at you. Let me tell you that headlight was a pickle and we got it a hair bit off but guess what? She's staying off. The thing you had to use pliers to get those clip back in. I wish we could have showed you if Becca was here filming, we would have been able to, but she is not. It so. was a two man job. Yes. There was no way to do that by yourself. All four hands. Eggshell fender is removed. Leave the full size fender on it. That looks good. <laughs> How far out front? Like that? Yeah. I think that looks perfect. So I need to cut it about in front of these bolts, you think? Yeah. You gotta love a bandsaw. I think I should cut this along with that angle. Yes. What do you think about that though? It looks good. That looks pretty close. That looks pretty good. What do you think about the back? Do you think the back looks... Back weird? fender? Yeah. No. Oh. Where it just goes straight out instead of kind of curving with the wheel? I think it looks fine. I think it looks perfectly fine. What do you guys think? It, of course, if it was a brand new fender and not sun faded, it would look a lot better. But that headlight and fender made a big difference on this thing. And I like this crossbar. Oh yeah, Lonnie put the crossbar on we ordered. Just for, you know, looks and strength as well. That'll help those handlebars from ever, if we ever crash or hard. I don't care what you got in there. If you lay it over going 55, it's probably going to be. Yeah, you gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, next task at hand is the maybe the rear fender. Yeah, but just so that they can see what it will look like, street fire, fighter style, this is what the cow will look like. We can't do it just yet, but. Yeah, and it looks like we need to lean the cow back more, but that's a problem because look how it fits the headlight. This was the right size cow for that headlight, but what do you guys think? And once it has a real gas tank, it looks a little bulky. The cow does, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know, we'll see. Street fighter, man. Street fighter. They got big fist. So we locked this fender so much, I went online and on eBay, I believe it was, you can get a brand new CRF 250R fender. I think this was 25 and this is the rear fender. We're going to cut down to mount on the back. So this one looks fine, but it's we're going to have this back all nice and shiny. And I didn't want this faded. You know, you can see where the stickers was. So we're going to pull this back off, trim the new one out, get it bolted on, and swap that rear fender out. So it's just two 10 millitreters. Lonnie, you want to go ahead and open that new fender, please, sir? Yeah, boy. But you called me Lonnie. I'm Lonnie. Oh, sorry. So Ronnie's helping us today. Lonnie's working like 60 hours a week right now, so we won't have Lonnie. But his twin brother's here, Ronnie. Say hey, Ronnie. This is good. Hey guys, good to be on the channel finally. You know, I get to see my brother bask in all the glory. We finally gave him some spotlight. Oh my, God. Oh my it's gosh. It's slippery. He's just like Lonnie in his clumsy <laughs> ways. <laughs> Could have been our rear fender. Has a two for one. It's too narrow. Eggshells removed. So I'm thinking just cut it. Yeah, just like that. Should I cut it so? I can bend this mount down and leave that whole entire thing.
with that. All right, so we need to get a hammer, bend these up because they're rounded, and then uh, bend this one up or down as well. It needs to kick it off of this bar right here. So we got a pull when we went riding when we built the uh, 50k mini bike. Uh, the belt broke on this. Braxton uh, on the ride where Braxton rode this up City Co. It must have wore the belt, which we're lucky because Braxton rode it all the way back. Never had any slippage issue or anything. So uh, we're lucky his belt didn't snap, but it snapped on me. And I had a dingo belt in the uh, toolbox of my truck when we put it on there. And that thing, it's an original Comet dingo belt. This, look how tight that thing is. So this belt's probably been on that dingo for, good gosh, 20 years. 20 years. And she held up. We was able to ride it, at least. Good gosh. I remember putting this thing on in the woods. She was thick. So that belt's actually still in pretty good working order. 20 year old Comet, baby. So to get this thing legal, we need turn signals, headlight. I don't think you need signals in Tennessee. You can use hand signals, but we're going to put signals on it. Uh, Oxbeam has sent us some uh, small LED signals, uh, which are pretty sick. These will go on front and rear. I think we hit. No, these will just go on front because of our tail light. I think it's for an R1. And we can take this tag bracket off. Uh, this does turn signals and brake lights, so that's going to be pretty sweet on the back of that. We need to find out where we're going to mount it and get that mounted. So on these Trail Masters, you take a 10 millimeter nut off the back and the seat pulls out. So what we're thinking on this uh, tail light, cut this bracket off and bend a new one that is like an inch higher. And then we could squeeze this tail light right under the seat. And of course, this tail, tail light be raised so it clears this back bar. It would be completely visible from the rear but tucked out of harm's way i think that's the way to go that was old lawn treesy's plan so we can cut this off now this is just flat stock probably an eighth inch thick we'll just bend a new one drill a hole in it rise it up an inch and be mounted and we can weld this back metal plate under these bolts weld it directly onto this bracket the new bracket we make and then just bolt everything back up I'm so there's gonna be go. some hidden stuff under the seat. It's I'm be thinking tough. I might have to trim this fender out some, freehand it, and then the battery can sit perfectly right there. Yeah. And that's where a battery would be on the motorcycle normally. So we can probably put a wing nut on the seat. So if you're no, we'll have a little tool set. We're, we'll, we'll be all right. Wing nut be nice for quick. Access. Yeah, just flopping it off, flopping it on. What do you think? I think it should be pretty sweet. So, test this. What we'll have to do is about have to lower this because now it's floppy up front. Now I mean, they put uh oh the front front only just hooks grabs. like a Ooh. like a normal seat. I thought it got bolt a bolt. No, I wish it did. You see now, we have that problem. Yeah, that's our tail light mount. Once it cools off, we'll bolt our tail light up, put the seat on, and we'll show you how she looks. Looks pretty sick. And look at that. So there's our tail light mounted. And we welded in a piece of 3 8 fly stock in here to make up the difference from where we raised the back. So now she goes under really tight. Look at that. No movement. It's pretty sick. Looks good. We got the new 
motorcycle front fender. So now we got to build a battery box to house the battery under the seat. The way I'm thinking is we got a Go Power Sports. What amp hour is this? I'm going to say 12 amp hour battery. I'm thinking of mounting it about right there. That should be the suspension shouldn't travel no more than that. When we get ready to mount it, we'll rise it up as much as possible, as close to the seat. Then we put the seat on. We have to go up through here, put a socket with an extension to tighten this 10 millimeter and put the light on first, then the seat. But that should be perfect about right in there. So I hope you liked today's video, guys, where we start the uh, street legal mini bike build. Uh, we got a lot done on this bike. We have another episode coming out next Monday. And then after we get some done on this, we'll start back on the tandem mini bike. We need to strip it down and take it to powder coat and stiffen the frame just a little bit more. So uh, stay tuned. We got a lot of mini bike builds coming on the channel and we'll continue on this uh, progress. And we'll show you the whole uh, process of getting it street legal in Tennessee. Like I said, this will vary from state to state uh, depending on how strict they are. Ours is pretty relaxed. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Check out the links for this Trailmaster and all the parts used on this build in the description below. Those uh, links help us out. If you already use them, uh, they keep the channel growing and alive. So uh, thank you guys for watching. God bless and come back. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.